Okie dokie. Let me give you a quick show and tell of the Workflowy Shortcuts feature. Just like you, I've got places to go and things to do in Workflowy, and the shortcuts are going to help us get there real quick. You see, with shortcuts, you have a predictable set of keystrokes. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me jump to my timeline. So I'm going to hit Control K on Windows, Command K on Mac. And I'm going to type in my shortcut to jump to my timeline, which happens to be TL. Easy to remember. And there's my timeline. That's my dashboard for my whole entire life. Now, if I want to get a little bit more granular, let's jump to my forward log. So once again, Control K on Windows, Command K on Mac. And to get to my forward log, my shortcut is FL. You know, as long as I can get to my lists, it doesn't really matter where they are in Workflowy. But for curiosity's sake, let me show you where I am, the context. So forward log lies within a date section on Saturday the 6th of September, which happens to be on my timeline. Now I'm going to jump to another outline. GT, that's my daughter's guitar classes. I keep track of how many she's done and when I need to pay again. So once again, it doesn't matter where I am, but curiosity's sake, let's go up a level. It happens to be within a time block tomorrow in September within my timeline. Now I'm going to jump to my reading outline, RD. And the reading list is pretty self-explanatory. And I'm not going to show you how many layers deep this is buried because once again, that doesn't really matter. What's important is that I can get here. Now let's go back to where we came from. BM is my bookmark for whatever I'm currently focusing on. And there we are. And so as you've seen, there's zero head scratching for me to do to try and figure out where my lists are. Once you've set up a couple of keyboard shortcuts, you're going to see how easy they are to remember. And whatever comes to mind at the time of setting up your keyboard shortcuts, that's what you're going to remember when it comes time to jump places. So let me show you how easy it is to set a shortcut up. Let me bring up my jump to menu and I'm going to do a search for a specific list I have in mind. Omfundi. It could be this one, could be one of the other ones. Let's see if I get lucky. It might be this one here because I've visited there recently. So let's click on here. And yes, it happens to be the list that I'm after. Let's zoom out one level. Now we're going to make this predictable so that I don't have to guess where I'm going or what I'm choosing. I've got two projects here that overlap somewhat. Let me set up a keyboard shortcut for this one here, Somnia. So forward slash SH for shortcut. Let me go SOM. I'm definitely going to remember that. Let's come down here, put my text cursor next to Omfundi. Now let's type in our slash, sh for shortcut, hit enter, and um, that's easy to remember. So another way to add shortcuts directly in your jump to menu, here's a start page checklist. Let me go ahead and click add shortcut, an easy one, ch for checklist. And I just remembered that I have a couple of start pages here. In my left bar, let's go ahead and click on this one here. Online expenses. This is a saved search. Here we've filtered for my credit card tag, all my online expenses. Up here in the search bar, you will see that it's starred. I'm going to go ahead and unstar it. So you'll notice it disappears from the starred pages in the left bar. And instead, I'm going to click on the little lightning bolt here. Let me give it the shortcut CC. Okay, let's set up one more. Let's jump to my extensions outline. Couple of projects I'm working on. Let's set up a shortcut here. SH, EXT for extension. Now, since I've set up shortcuts, let me come and unstar these items. I've got no more starred pages left. Now let me quickly cycle through the keyboard shortcuts I set up for those lists. So there's Somnia. Let's go to Olfundi. 
let's jump to the checklist that I use for workflow support. Now let's filter for my recurring credit card expenses. And finally, let me jump to my extension project outline. And then back again to the list that we've been working off. BM for bookmark. Now, once you've set up a small handful of shortcuts, you're in a good position to move and mirror things to those locations. So right now, the thought just occurred to me that I'd like to catch up on some AI news. So let me create an item here. And since I don't want to be distracted right now, I'm going to send it to an outline that I already have a shortcut set up for. So we're going to move it with the forward slash move to and I've got an outline tomorrow. The shortcut is TOM. Let's hit enter. And there it goes. I can click on view to jump there, but let me just show you in my left bar. Here it is, catch up on AI news. Let me just undo that because I want to show you another trick. Instead of moving, I want to mirror to let me go to the same outline tomorrow and there it reappears in the tomorrow outline. But of course, this time it's mirrored. Okay, so here's the really fun part, move to child. Once I show you how this works, I'm sure you'll think of 101 use cases of your own. So I'm gonna jump to my timeline, TL, so that's my calendar. I'm gonna put my text cursor in September. Let's set up a shortcut. I'm gonna call this TM for this month. Let me do the same for October. Shortcut NM for next month. Let's go back in history here. And a thought just came to mind, which I don't want to lose. So let me put a pin in this. And buy a pepper spray for Emma so that she can have that when she's out and about. So let me hit forward slash, move to child. And this month, you're going to see a list of chronological dates. Let me just type in the 15th, some random date there, hit enter, and my item is moved there. Let's take a quick look in my calendar under the 15th, Monday, buy pepper spray for Emma. So I've got an idea I need to get out. I'm not gonna jump anywhere. I'm just gonna type it out right here. I was thinking about this emoji picker extension that I created that not only would I like to be able to control click on emojis to enlarge them, but also I'd like to be able to explode them. So, so I don't want to lose this thought, this idea. So forward slash, let's move to a child of my extension project. And there you'll see Smart Emoji Picker. Let me click on that. Let me now jump there just to demonstrate where it landed and the context. So that's one of the extensions I've been working on. And that way I don't have to set up a shortcut for each individual item here. I can just call on the extension and move to a child of the extensions outline. And now I've got unfinished business. Let's jump back to my bookmarked page. Got to check this off. 